Today we will learn how to use Object Detection, also known as Scan API or Scan Module in Lens Studio. First, let's head to the dark web. First, you'll need to go to docs.snap.com slash api slash lensstudio. Here we'll find a full list of all the APIs we can use in Lens Studio. Let's go to the search field, type in scan. This page can seem a bit intimidating, but basically it's just going through uh, all the logic of, of uh, how you use the examples. But we want to write a clean uh, script uh, where we can use it. As far as I know, it's able to detect more than a thousand objects. It's pretty good with cars. It can detect individual car models. But in the bottom here, you need to click on scan and then you'll get to this new page. Uh, in here, uh, we have everything we need. So let's head back to Lens Studio. Not sure why my icon is not showing. First, we need to create a script. Let's call it scan. And let's create a scene object. So the script has something to live inside. It's called a scanner. Let's drag the script under the scene object. And let's go inside the script. Now we need to find the code which we have ready in here. To get the object detection to run, it's important we have something called the scan module. This you can add down here in the resource panel. Boom, it's there. Now we need to add, add this to be able to, or you can also just click here, to be able to call the scan module. Yep, and this we don't need. Basically, this is the categories you can choose from, but uh, for now we don't need it. Let's take this piece of code. This is basically returning a JSON object. Uh, it's confusing when my icon is not showing. And then we just need this, and we should be good, right? Yeah. Cool. And now it's complaining because we need to assign the scan module to the input here. And now it looks like it works. So it's quite computational heavy. So let's try to limit our scans to tapped. So if you don't have this interactive environment here, you can find it by clicking up here and choosing interactive environment. But basically this allows you to go around. Uh, every time I tap now, I'll scan. So down here we see a chair, table, that's correct. Uh, let's see what else it can do. Furniture, hopefully this is a bed. Oh. Not sure why there's a bed, table, yep. Okay, uh, so let's say we, we want to look for certain objects and then we want to do something. So what you need is basically this one here. So we could write an if statement and say, so be aware that it's looking for strings. So strings is basically a data type which consists of characters. So let's say we are looking for a table here and we print out a table found. Basically in this if statement, you can do whatever you want. Um, any trigger any event but for now we're just gonna do a printout so let's see here if we tap table found all right let's change this to to chair and this 
Okay, so let's find a chair over here. Huh. Cool. All right, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials. Let me know in the comments uh, what kind of tutorials you want me to make and I can make them for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope to be helpful. See you in the next one.